Now let's take a look at using insert multi mesh brushes. So some of the insert brushes will allow you to insert, uh, have a whole kind of library of things that you can insert. So for instance, right now I've got this model kit brush selected right down here, and you can't really see, uh, but each one of these, as you hover over it, will give you uh, kind of an indication who the brush was created by and website. For instance, this is Joseph Drust, uh, one of his mini brushes, and it's really, really cool. So if I open this up and I hit the M key, I can get a whole, see a whole library of meshes that we can use um, to add to our model. So for instance, uh, if we wanted to come down to, you know, something like uh, this piece down here, we wanted to add in maybe some screw heads, we could go in and choose, let's do kind of a standard screw head machine screw here. And we can just kind of draw this out into these different spots. Maybe some of them are a little bit smaller. So really easy to start to add all these different parts. And there's lots of different kinds of libraries in, that you can use and, and create. So we've got machine parts, you've got uh, individual parts, uh, there's gun, dragon, bones. You, you could make a whole, you know, if you were creating a bunch of uh, a terrain, you could have, you know, a bunch of bricks or rocks, uh, different kinds of rocks that you could really quickly choose from and, and draw those out. Uh, there's also one that's uh, Steam Gears. Okay, so that one's right over here again by Joseph. And so I could come in here and if I wanted to create like a gear or add a gear, I could just pick one of these really cool gears that we have here and draw this out. I can use the space bar to actually move it around, which is cool. And maybe put another one right down in here. Okay. And then again, you have the ability to split those out. So I could go to split, split to similar parts. Okay. And that leaves me with just the gears. If I unmask them all, um, then I can go in and I can move them. So let's go to deformation. I'm just going to offset those. Kind of pull them forward a little bit. Okay. I can also go back in and add a post to that. So let me go back in, turn those back on. So with this uh, selected, let me unmask it. And let's go back to our post there. And I'm just going to draw it out and then move it over kind of into position. So something like that. And then same thing down here. Maybe make it a bit smaller. Okay, and then we could come in here and, and we would have to probably move these back just a little bit. Actually in deformation and offset those back. So just so that it visually uh, kind of connects things a little bit better. Makes it look like they're still sort of stuck in there. But you can see how it becomes very easy to go in with these insert brushes and very quickly add geometry. And just like with your, you know, we created one with a single post, um, but if you're interested, we have other training on creating just multi-mesh brushes where you can go in and have a lot of control over uh, the different meshes that are involved in creating that. But that's how you can take advantage uh, of those as well. So the next thing we'll look at is using uh, nano meshes. So let's take a look at that next.